Hi, my name is Ray Andrade, welcoming you to the Arizona Public Health Training Center's Continuing Workforce Quality Improvement Series. Today, we will be discussing cause and effect, or fishbone diagrams. A fishbone diagram aids in identifying, exploring, and graphically displaying possible causes related to a problem or condition in an attempt to discover its root cause or causes. Fishbone diagrams help groups investigate possible determinants that lead to negative conditions based on the group's collective professionalism and past experience. Once a fishbone diagram is developed, the group can then target the negative determinants in order to correct the condition. Let's take a look at some examples. This diagram was used to address tardiness. Listed are possible determinants that, if altered, could pose a solution for those who can't make it to work on time. This company wanted to increase website traffic. They listed both technical and non-technical causes of low website traffic. This personal example could illustrate a person going through a troubleshooting scenario to find the cause of a car trouble. In order to keep that competitive edge, this leadership team outlined various determinants that serve as reminders to keep its members focused. What I'd like to do is go through a public health illustration quickly to illustrate the way a fishbone diagram should be utilized. We'll begin by putting a title and we'll label it as a public health example. It might be useful to go ahead and draw the outline of the fishbone in order to allow the group members that are participating to be fluid in their uh, in their help and brainstorming in illustrating the cause and effect. So we'll go ahead and label this causes because here we're going to illustrate the causes of our root concern and then the effect which is the root concern itself. For our public health example we're going to utilize what we see as a problem in some communities, and that is declining immunization rates. We're using this example just because we see it as a problem, and it's a good example to use when we're illustrating something like a fishbone uh, diagram. So if we look at the causes, again, having people help out in terms of past experience and professionalism is really useful with fishbone diagrams. You might have this sitting around a table with concerned people and personnel from your department or organization. And you can come up with different causes uh, as a result of what the effect is. In this case, declining immunization rates. Some of the causes may include uh, a broad, broad topics like information, social causes, cultural causes, and always we deal with cost in public health. Under the title of cost, a discussion might happen where you're talking about the Affordable Care Act. This discussion is going to happen quite often now as the Affordable Care Act is implemented. You might also have a discussion about government assistance. And you don't have to fill in this diagram in any particular order. That's the great thing about the brainstorming activity, is I can move around the diagram from place to place. So we'll go ahead and switch over here to social, where we're talking about maybe things that have to do with socioeconomic status of a group that we're trying to reach and access to care. Under access to care, it might be important to talk about social injustice. If we move over to the cultural topic, we might hit a discussion on minority populations and connected with that 
we have to deal sometimes with rooted beliefs. And that always brings about a discussion of dealing with religious beliefs in populations. And then finally, in the information section, in declining uh, immunization rates, there may be a lack of media attention. And ongoing research and how to bring that information forward, especially when you're talking about things like disproved research. So once some, something like this is developed by a group of concerned individuals within your organization, what you can do then is just start assigning different uh, problems or causes to certain departments or people in the organization that can then start investigating ways to move forward in terms of turning this problem around. That was a look at fishbone diagrams. Visit our website to see what the Arizona Public Health Training Center is doing to ensure a well-prepared public health workforce. Please contact us with any questions or suggestions you may have. Until next time.